Hi guys, I'm Max and in this video we will see how it was possible to transform a dilapidated garage like a landfill into a perfect and super cool craft studio. Welcome to Max DM Crafting! Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting! The days go by quickly and we have already entered the height of this summer. The works in the new apartment are proceeding inexorably and some things are starting to look rather decent. In other corners of the house, however, the situation is not yet, let's say, optimal. After a good coffee, I decided to spend this Saturday morning away from the walls of the apartment and to start cleaning up the garage. This will be equipped as a new studio for the YouTube channel. The problem is that at the moment it is used both as a dump for the old apartment furniture and as a warehouse for the new components that we will install during the renovation. The new parquet, the new doors, the bathroom fixtures, etc. I prefer to deal with one problem at a time and today I want to free the space from waste, loading and unloading. <laughs> You are watching this video today, but since the beginning of the work I have already made 22 trips like the one you are seeing now. Do you know what keeps the motivation high? The thought that, starting in September, this place will be a factory of fantastic terrains, will be the place where my creativity will be more active than ever. As you have already noticed, the space is not huge. We are talking about a room just over 2.5 meters wide and about 5.5 meters long. Or, uh, if you prefer, 13-14 square meters, very easy to make chaotic and disorganized. The plan is to create two areas, one at the beginning of the garage for dirty work and normal activities necessary not only for my hobby but also for the normal family routine. One at the bottom of the garage, on the other hand, separated by thermal curtains, capable of accommodating everything necessary to be able to carry on my modeling hobby. 
Now comes the difficult part. Everything must be compatible with the parking of the car to have a safe place ready for use at any time. The challenge was not easy, but I immediately understood that I would have to opt for a series of mobile or semi-mobile elements, folding desk and a folding workbench, as well as a series of elements mounted on wheels and numerous shelves to the walls. Challenge accepted. I adapted the entire electrical system to support both my power tools and the lighting system. So far so good. I adapted three Billy by IKEA for the back wall. The central one served as a support for the desk, which was also modified starting from a classic desk by IKEA. The workbench was made with leftovers from the parquet at home. Finally, a place dedicated to my tools, which in addition to being functional motivates me to keep everything clean and tidy. This can easily become the basis for my Proxon foam cats.
painting of the walls had to be done before the definitive assembly of the furniture, but between one thing and the other, the technical times of realization got longer and I found myself short of time. I therefore opted for a painting covering the furniture already installed. I am a rather experienced painter, so I do not suggest doing it this way if you are at your first experience of painting the walls. I use a quartz paint, which is a highly filler for the cracks. Coloring it with uh, acrylic black, I managed to get the shade of grey I wanted. Cool! touch of the lighting was fundamental. A strip of LED light and a rechargeable LED lamp were enough and the entire studio acquired an amazing appearance. Last touches and we are ready to fix everything you need. Let's take a look at the final results. Welcome to my new studio.